What's up, guys? Today on YouTube, I'm going to be rating all of the Andrew Tate clones that have sparked up since Andrew Tate went to Romanian prison. Shouts out to Gunner TV for uh, originally putting me on some of these guys, the epidemic of Andrew Tate clones. We're going to be taking a look at some of our favorites. Oh my God. There is literally nothing more alpha than having a TikTok account not only dedicated to you being a sigma grind set guy but like you're so young that you need to have your mom with you as your supervisor why should his mom isn't a fan sadly all carry a bunch of personal biases and when we analyze situations we do not have enough scope to grab wait they reacted to me oh the mom reacted That's to me the entirety of the situation not comprehended with our human brains you can drive you're deriving your truth from an internet study that's fine that's honestly another thing is that how how can you really trust anything you see on the internet when everything that's portrayed to you is there's a reason it's being portrayed to you that way there's that's what i said end, you know back end reasoning for the person putting that out i find it funny that he says there's you know so much more around our understanding than we can understand yet he won't acknowledge that he can't understand that tate's experience is valid Mama Bear owned me, dude. How is this any different than what like people say where it's like, uh, actually, how about my own personal experiences? He's the one chatter whose mom you didn't f Yeah. I apologize to the community. I apologize to all the moms out there. I will get around to it. All right. I want to hear from a guy who's going to FGCU about like how to win in the world. Don't worry. Joe Biden assures us that there's not a single thing a man can do. A woman can't do better. Not a single thing. Men can't pee their you know they dressed up together. You know they dressed up. He was like, Mommy, I'm going to wear my full sin outfit. Mommy. Their name in the snow better. Man can't <laughs> open pickle jars better. Men can't pick up heavy weights better. Men can't throw up a baseball harder on average. No, nope. turns out every single thing a man can do, a woman can do just as well or better. There's not a... Dude, that's so funny. Like, yeah, it's a saying, my dude. He doesn't literally mean that. Oh my God. It's like when chatters fucking see something I say, like in his ex exaggeration, and they go, actually, uh, technically, what you're saying is completely incorrect. Like, he's just doing the meme. He's literally doing the fucking meme. He's like, uh huh. You said anything a man can do, a woman can do better. Well, technically, there are certain things that men can do that are better than women. It's like, dude, shut up. Like, you are literally doing the fucking meme about you, man. Huh. All you can eat buffet? Well, technically, what they don't let you know is that, hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to sit there and eat all that I could eat, they would kick me out after a while. What they don't usually tell you in the fine print is the fact that you can't be there for longer than three and a half hours. Lord knows I've tried. It's like, what? This is so old. Half of you motherfuckers became right wing after watching this shit or were right wing and became more right wing after watching this video way back in the good old days. You know what I mean? To freedom of speech. Trump, a trans person's right not to be offended your right to not be offended there's no such thing as a right to not be offended what what is what is this new shit where no one can get offended what is this new shit bro you are the new shit why is this half-cooked fetus talking about the right not to be offended like he's a facebook dad dude bro you are offended you're literally currently offended like you're a fucking boomer who is a divorced dad spending all of his goddamn time on fucking facebook uh facebook meme pages like uh divorced dad pipeline divorce dads for hot babes you know what i'm talking about those like fucking dumbass facebook groups that you see one of your like fucking relatives on and you're like oh no dude you are so sad your life is so fucking sad and it anymore right and that's why people are so soft and can't get anything done because they're they're coddled since they're little to not to, to not get offended man yeah i'm sure this guy living in a fucking florida mcmansion who definitely is most likely still suckling on his mommy's titties this guy has been breastfed till he was 14 and he's 15 now and he's acting brand new you know what i mean he's like dog i'm no longer i am no longer being breastfed okay you know i'm fucking popping off yeah you haven't been coddled sure anything they have bulldozer parents that do everything for them these people are not prepared for the real world you need struggle you we, need should, fight. we should be polite to each other and do our best to not what struggle did this guy experience i need to understand offense but you know what that doesn't mean i'm gonna tiptoe and pretend i believe shit that i don't because of your feelings so this lady has never been polite in her life i'm just gonna keep it a buck 50. she does not strike me as the type of person who is ever polite do you understand like oh yeah we we should all be polite you know unless we see you know like a black guy near my car in which case i'm gonna pop off on him and call and then call the cops immediately because you're violating my space I like it when everyone's polite. And by that, I mean polite to me. I can be as impolite as possible. Relationship between a man and a woman is inherently unequal. And that goes for any relationship where someone is deciding to date their oppressor. 
just what? Ugh. It's just like both, both. Uh, like these guys we already know suck, but like TikTok is so fucking annoying. It's like, oh my God. Yes. In a patriarchal society, sexual intercourse between a man and a woman is always rape. We're doing that, right? Oh my God. No one thinks this way. Like that's just so stupid. Shut up. Shut up. Just like all white people have racism brainwashed into them, all males have okay, misogyny brainwashed. Okay, you know what? I don't want to listen to anybody who doesn't have their, their blinds straight. She's got her blinds are crooked, okay? She doesn't even have her life together enough to have her blinds even. And She's right. Yeah, let her cook. I'm getting these people to walk really fast. It's really good for their health. Obesity kills more people every year than firearms. There's everywhere. That is pretty hilarious. Yeah. That's, that's some savage shit. She is a savage. Wow, real talk, dog. That's savage. She's a savage. Yeah, she's so savagely shit her pants, dude. These types of conservatives are extra stupid. Yeah, no, this is my favorite. This is my favorite type of conservative. They haven't figured out the internet yet, so they're just like kind of just, you know, piping content straight up, just uninhibited. You know what I mean? Like whatever goes, goes. They're letting shit fly, right? And I personally like that. I like seeing people be like uh, honest this way. The real Andrew Tate Lane guy is actually the guy who, not these guys, these guys are all fake. It's the one who's like always like, yeah, I'm skinny, but I have a Lamborghini. You think your girl's going to want to fuck you in your shitty car or me and my Lamborghini? You know, that's the one I want to... That's the one I want to watch. Is it this guy? Let's yeah. Take you, for example, and me. And we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds are I'm going to take that bitch. If you. Yeah, dude. Everybody loves people who wear McLaren t shirts. It's just so classically gross to just be like, yeah, by the way, I have a McLaren. It's like, don't worry, brother. Everybody knows you're that kind of douchebag. If you compared me to you, you're not going to. Oh, no. Okay. This has got to be a meme, right? This is a bit. I think he knows what's going on. If you could. Bro, there ain't no way he posted this. And I think he knew how fucking unimaginably, jokingly awful he looks in that photo that he just, boop, did a quick snapshot. Look at his legs, bro. He's got the Sperry Topsiders. Oh my, or Docksiders, is that what it's called? Like, he's got the yachting shoes on, but even then, as far as the Sperrys, like, that's the that's the sports edition, so it's even whacker. His t-shirt says Hustle. You know his ass is wearing cargo shorts. <laughs> Just so fucking bad. So, the next time you think that your girl's on lock, I got the keys to the castle, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Him, making less than 10k a month pulling up in your bullshit fucking corolla and i pull up i'm on the player and it's not even a contest dude no one gives a fuck about your muscle joey swole would have a fucking uh raptor dude oh, he has a shelby raptor of course he does anyway that's like besides the point why was this watch over 40 grand the market names the price bro how many fucking dude no way no way he didn't even fix his collar stop how many mclaren shirts does this guy own if mclaren had any respect for itself they would pull a ferrari and take this guy's mclaren away <laughs> mercedes hired this guy to embarrass mclaren have you ever eaten food on a plane well a recent study came out that actually no dude look at this look at this what is he dude he looked at the hitler mustache and thought i could do it better my man has the hitler beard he took the hitler stash put it on his beard bro what is happening yo this shit literally looks like he shaved and he couldn't he couldn't figure it out he shaved in the dark and he left a piece down there not realizing it's on his face still oh my god food on a plane tastes more bland because when you're that high in the air you actually lose 30 percent of your taste i did not know this so comment down below if you Oh, thanks. He's got tips and tricks. When he's not telling you how to make more money, when he's not telling you the Sigma grind set, the Shrigma grind set lifestyle, he's also giving you helpful uh, educational points like that. You love somebody else until you love yourself. If you want your relationship with your business partner, your significant other, or family to be really, really successful, the most important thing is alone time. If you can't be apart and be alone, it means that they're not happy with themselves. And you can't really love somebody else until you love yourself. Yeah, I mean, that's like not the worst idea, but like coming from him, it's just, you know. You oh really my. do realize like working hard isn't directly correlated. Bro, the audio just fell off, by the way. Like, I don't know what just happened, but, like, the audio is just done now so much lower. ...with being successful at all. If that were the yeah, case, like, I mean, you take some, you know, 
coal miners and stuff. Yeah, right? those like, would be the highest earners. Works those people. Yeah. So obviously, like that's not the the direct correlation. So working smarter is definitely something that I think is more important. You, I love that. There's no such thing as unskilled labor. Take immediately, which is true. But then Im- simultaneously followed up by that's why we need to do drop shipping. It's like, honestly, these are really like important socially necessary uh, modes of production that these guys are like doing really important labor, which is precisely why they should be paid more. And he's like, nah, actually, that's why we got to do drop shipping. If I had to start from zero and I had no money at all, the first thing I would get into is sales. Sales is the easiest fucking way to make money. Oh my God, bro. Fix your collar. I'm losing my mind. Also, as someone who did sales, like what dog shit advice. Oh my God. It's awful. It, it like anyone who's in sales will tell you how fucking grueling and depressing working in sales is. You're constantly sucking dog farts out of your client's asshole. The cold calling aspect of it is awful too. Everybody treats you like absolute dog shit because you kind of are literally dog shit. You're constantly bothering people. Oh, it's so awful. I will not recommend. <laughs> I will not recommend sales to anyone. Okay, retail versus sales. Which would you hate more? Probably retail because like you yeah retail's worse because then it's like sales but in service too you don't even have like commission you know what i mean like i have a lot of respect for for people who are in retail and people who work in the service industry in general they are the fucking real heroes they are braver than the marines across the board at least in retail though the people that you're working alongside are not going to be like straight up demons whereas sales is self-selecting for some of the most sociopathic individuals you'll ever meet in your entire life one of my very close friends literally used to sell used mercedes benzes and he is a fucking psycho straight up okay he's very good but like also at the same time you got to be a bit of a psycho a bit of freak a bit of a fucking freak to, to be able to do shit like that i want to see more about this guy that bright First of all, he came after uh, my boy, friend of the show, Bryce Hall. All thing that I mentioned, that's why I said he's an NPC. Girls were saying, like, I need therapy in the comments. And this dude, Bryce Hall, is just like, he wants to say and be whatever the world wants him to be. Is going to say whatever all the girls are saying so that all the girls can agree with him and follow him. Because his attention is a bunch of little girls. He was just saying what... Wait, but he's doing the same for like a bunch of little boys, right? Like they were all saying, just like regurgitating that. Like if Bryce Hall was here right now, I bet you a dollar that he would agree with it. For sure. That's just the honest truth. Yeah. So, I think I've actually met him before in LA. Or was it Taylor Holder? I think I've met him before. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't say anything else. <laughs> yeah. I, <have> one <laughs> I won't say anything else. Here's what I don't get, bro. If you look like this, you can't shit on Bryce Hall. I mean, all jokes aside, friend of the show, Bryce Hall, I will defend him. You can't look like dollar store Bryce Hall. And then fucking shit on Bryce Hall. Like, what do you mean? You're just trying to be Bryce Hall. At least he could grow a fucking mustache, bitch. You're a dude right now. The biggest red flag is you. The biggest red flag is motherfuckers that watch these videos. I feel like this just makes you dumber. Like, you watch this shit and you're like, you're forever cooked. Everything is breaking out of the fucking matrix. How do you break out of the matrix? By drop shipping and, mis- and being misogynistic. Now, and your girlfriend has watched a lot of Andrew because I think a lot of the guys watching yeah. have probably watched a lot of Andrew and they still are like, ew, like he's gross. I want to make all the money. I want to be the bag winner if they're the girl. That's a big red flag, dude. Like my girlfriend, I start actually showing her Andrew like genuine videos where he talks good stuff and she's like, okay, I understand it now. Like I don't hate yeah. the dude anymore like I used to when I was just watching it on my feed, which is... The- there's nothing more alpha male than making your girlfriend real, by the way, d- goes to another school so you don't know her, by the way, making your real girlfriend, your real not fake girlfriend, watch Andrew Tate videos and defending Andrew Tate's honor, who is now in Romanian prison, defending the Romanian prisoner Andrew Tate's honor to your fake made up girlfriend. That is awesome. You are so bitch made, brother. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't watch porn, I don't play video games, and I try not to eat sugary food. I said I don't eat sugary foods, and I went viral. A lot of people saw that, and they said, well, what do you do if you don't watch porn and play video games and eat pizza and soda? What do you think about that? People got mad at me, and they're like, this dude is lame, he's boring, he has no life. What do you think about that? I'm very proud of you for saying that. Okay. You helped a lot of people lose weight. Your brother lost about 60 yeah. pounds. Actually, you helped me too. I lost 17 pounds. I think you... Yo, these dudes should never put their moms on camera. Like, honestly, if you're a mom, you should put him back in and incubate. Shove him back inside and and let him cook more, okay? It didn't work. Take him back. That's a refund.
Ooh, let's see what he has to say about ways to roast you that you didn't even know existed. Yeah. Like TikTok gave me insecurities that I never even knew I had. They were like roasting me for shit that I, I was like, what? I was like, yeah. since when? I didn't even know. I've been with myself for 24 years and I didn't know that. You guys are roasting me for it, bro. I'm like, dang. Yeah, my girlfriend was mentioning how they were calling me insecure for like. Okay, this guy keeps fucking talking about his girlfriend. I don't think that that is. No, 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 no. This guy. He does not. My thoughts are Ethan Klein. Oh, stupid. Ethan Klein is the worst person on the oh, planet. Oh, we all know this. He's bro. the worst person on the planet. Let me guess, because he's fat. Half the time, these guys are like, Ethan is fat, which makes him a bad person. He's a bad guy, real bad guy. You can't be fat in public. If you're fat in public, you're just not a good guy. Okay, me, not fat in public, good guy. No one that has a girlfriend mentions a girlfriend that much. Yeah, he's just like, and also always as like a talking point too. Let's hear what they have to say about he Ethan. Wishes these guys are so. He was us. I. I <laughs> he does. I Wait, oh, what? <laughs> he said he wishes he was us. <laughs> Bro. Oh, dude. Yeah, Ethan Klein wishes he had a fake podcast on TikTok. I'll know this. He's bro. the worst person on the planet. He wishes he was us. I, I, <laughs> he does. I would love to speak to him. I'd love to talk to him and go on his podcast. I would try to change his life, oh, but I don't. Life. I You know what's, yeah, we you know what's actually funny. Ethan is like, yeah, Ethan is a hundred times richer than these dudes, okay? That's what's actually funny about half these motherfuckers, dude. It's like, oh, dude, I'm such an alpha dog. I'm so fucking wealthy. Ethan, loser. Oh, I wish I could go on his podcast so I could change his life, dude. What are you going to do? What, like, what? I tried changing Ethan's life by getting him to work out. The motherfucker is not changing, okay? I've given up. <laughs> But also, you know, what what is what life changing advice is he gonna give to Ethan Klein? Is he gonna be like, dude, hey Ethan, uh one, you're fat. Didn't know if you knew this. Two, you should quit this podcast stuff and then get into drop shipping. Yeah, I know you and your wife have like a successful fashion brand as well, but like also, have you thought about instead of doing that, just drop shipping instead? Anyway. They're 100% going to make a TikTok on you. It would be so lame. In, in a lot of instances, I, I break these dudes' brains, right? Because, like, uh, they can't hit the he's actually fat button. What are they going to do? Say that I'm fucking fake because I'm rich? Isn't that, like, 98% of your content about how fucking rich you are? So what are you going to do? Like, what 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 kind of criticisms is he going to lodge against me? Dude, he's actually socialist, but, like, insanely wealthy. Okay. Isn't that like the whole thing that you guys are doing where you're like so rich and so hot? Yeah, no, they'll just be like, he's a SJW or some shit, I assume. And then I wear a dress, I've worn a dress and I painted my nails. That's usually what they say. It's like, oh man, this guy fucking paints his goddamn nails, dude. He's so gay, dude. Oh God. <laughs> In your opinion, what is the best way to get rich? Good question. Thank um, you very much. <laughs> the best way to do it is, I think the best way to do it is just to find a skill or a, a place, like a very, very small area where you can provide value. You really just need like a hundred grand and then you could start investing it. <laughs> Doc, he said you really just need a hundred grand. This literally is just like a parody of, of podcast bros, right? This is like actually five head alpha dog content where they're just like parodying all the other dumbass podcasters, right? He said, come on, dog. You just need like pff, only like a hundred grand. What is this? What YouTube hustle gurus are really selling you? YouTube and TikTok is plagued with 20 something passive income bros who want your attention and your money. Sebastian Giorgio hates excuses. He's only 24 yet runs a seven figure marketing agency. He owns multiple dream cars and is currently building his luxury dream, ca dream house in Scottsdale, Arizona. Big L, by the way. Okay, bro. Luxury dream house, Scottsdale, Arizona. Wow. That's a real lap of luxury right there. You know what I mean? Fucking Scottsdale. All right. <laughs> I love building my dream house where it's like 110 degrees, okay, all the time. Georgie was productive, he says, for 98% of his day. He went from skinny fat to jacked. He believes in God. He was born to a four, poor family who immigrated from Romania and got rich simply because he decided to. If he could do it, why can't you? If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down. Oh, yeah, I remember this one was like what banged. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Yep. Because it's, I realize now that it's so incredibly easy and there's so much money out there and 200 grand relative to what is out there in circulation and what you can grab, especially now with AI tools that you can leverage like never before, 200 grand is Trump change. That's, he's right, dude. Fucking losers, bro. 
it, notice how every time he talks about like exactly how to make the money, it's always like mumbo jumbo. It's like, oh yeah, AI tools you can leverage, dude. What what does that mean? Are you talking about becoming like a using ChatGPT to do copywriting? Is that what you think? You think it's that easy to just like fucking make a hundred grand off of doing that? Just leverage AI. See, notice how I just described something to you about like how you could technically make uh the, not that kind of money, but like some you know money on the side through ChatGPT. Now let me let me explain something to you the only reason why i know that is because i watch these brain broken motherfuckers all the time and that's like one thing that i've seen that at least some of them explain how to make money with which you're not going to make 100 grand that is so stupid okay uh let's see he's right at least on the last bit there really is so much money out there and georgiou is just one of the countless influencers online who are devoted to teaching men how uh teaching other men how to get a piece of it these self-anointed gurus often share interest sports cars wrist watches combat sports strict diets rocket ship emoji lengthy twitter threads sunbelt states with relatively low tax burden but tend to make their millions in a few different ways. For Giorgio, it was a combination of most, if not all, the most common revenue streams for his class of entrepreneur. Flipping houses and cars, selling online courses, crypto gambling, digital marketing, YouTube ads, and crucially, drop shipping. Drop shipping or the practice of purchasing. Yeah, it's always drop shipping, dude. It's always drop shipping. Selling them on a legitimate seeming website for profit after getting it from China is an industry valued at $225 billion and expected to grow by $1.2 trillion for, to, uh, by 2030. The end times are being signaled here when drop shipping which is like basically uh uh the the exact same thing that like uh resellers do but in a much larger format where you're just a mediator uh between alibaba and the american marketplace when when that is like this this blossoming industry like you know shit is fucked up when people are selling the classic middleman scheme as though it's like a viable industry and it's seen by vox as a growth sector that will be expected to grow to 1.2 trillion dollars it's crazy Framed as an easy way to earn passive income by YouTube influencers, the videos are often used as funnels for viewers to sign up to an influencer's multi-thousand dollar online course that may or may not actually teach you anything. Yeah. None of these guys, as I talked about with Andrew Tate originally, when I was first covering Hustlers University, none of these guys actually teach you anything new that you couldn't find with a fucking zero dollar YouTube video. Google how to drop ship and click on the first fucking YouTube video and you just got literally, you know, whatever, $2,000 worth of uh, courses for free. Also, don't do that regardless. Oh, yeah, yeah. A casual scroll through drop shipping forums will reveal plenty of people who spent everything they had on Facebook and Google ads to market their products only to rack up thousands in debt or literal children asking about how to start their dropshipping business exactly that's awesome but according to Giorgio and other rich guy influencers like him Alex Hormozzi Iman Godzi Jordan Welsh Andre Jik Max Maher well, Jesus Christ, who the fuck are these guys, bro? Wait, they linked all of these motherfuckers? What's going on, guys? So a lot of you see me on this channel making tons Oh my God, oh my Lord. Here are four passive income ideas that no one is talking about. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, dude, YouTube, I can't believe I'm saying this. YouTube was a better space when they were just doing like prank videos and, and you know, a, a, a just beauty vloggers were doing drama. Oh my God, these guys. So this year is coming to an end. And just like last year, I'm going to share my- This motherfucker has 2 million subs, dog. Seven life lessons. It's really interesting how content like this has become so popular in recent years as the average living conditions have deteriorated so drastically. Yes, people are in dire need. People are not having a good time. The, the worse wages get for the average American worker, the more motherfuckers like this are going to pop up because they're selling them a, a way. They're selling them a fucking ladder out of uh, permanent poverty. And the reality is they're not actually, I mean, they're not selling them anything real. They're selling them on a dream. Like I'm rich and you can get rich too. This is how Twitter leftists think I am. Like, why don't you yell about these guys? I didn't know a single one of these motherfuckers. So many of the hammer and sickle leftists are obsessed with me. Meanwhile, these guys fucking exist. And apparently even more popping than I am. I mean, this guy's twice the amount of subs I, I do. 